I went to South Carolina to see a show, an Evanescence show. And it wasn't necessarily from the perspective that you normally see a show. I went behind the stage. I went on the tour bus. I went in the dressing rooms. I was in the bathrooms. Well, I guess that's not that special, but all the other stuff is. That's right, I was hanging out with my friend Jen Majera, the guitar player for Evanescence, and she was nice enough to invite my wife Bethany and I to hang out with her and show us sort of a day in the life of a big rock star touring musician like the ones in Evanescence and Lindsey Sterling. By the way, Evanescence and Lindsey Sterling are on tour together right now, so check the links down in the description if you wanna see this show that I was at. So I'm going to kick it off by showing you the first kind of interactions with Jen and some other members of the band and crew. And I will check in periodically throughout this video to give you some context of what you're about to see. But man, this was a lot of fun. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Anybody? Healthy? I think you want it. First? Maybe the most compelling issue you've had to deal with. There's none. There's this no. one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you it's ever seen heat. gear melt? No. The guitar stand that got melted. Yeah, but it's, that was not the heat. It was, uh, it the heat? It was uh, uh, a moving head. Like, the Did you melt feet? faces with your licks? Oh. <laughs> it's hot as balls. Oh. And my guitar tech is burning his fingers while cutting the pedals. I got the hot. Touch it. This is how you're supposed to stand. That's it. This position. Hold the position. The okay. boy's wardrobe case. Yeah. What, is it all black clothing? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? This is the girl's wardrobe case. <gasps> oh, that looks way more fun. What are you wearing tonight? I like it. I'm not sure yet, but due to today's temperatures, I'm not sure if I'm going to no. wear a jacket. Well, you guys go on at 8, so it should be about 85 instead of 90. <laughs> yeah, great, right? <laughs> does Luna travel with you on tour she normally? Uh-huh. Oh, cool. She's tour pup. Luna. Luna. I have something to ask you. Oh, you're so cute. Where do you sit on this stage? Right over there in the middle of the orchestra. It's a theremini. Theremini. All and right. a theremini by the by the company Moog comes equipped with so many cool and sound. And the device on this tour, is, which is the best gear ever, is this a little fan. Oh man. It's a clip-off fan. Is that released like yet to the public, or is that just that is it? super top secret? Oh, you're okay. the first one to see it. <laughs> it's so much fun to hear the strings and the warmth and the mighty sound of strings, so I'm, I'm a big fan of that section. Mighty. Um, I brought just two guitars on this tour. This is my favorite one. It's a very easy RG450. It's interesting, everything's labeled. You have a... Yes, you have This to. is where the plug goes, the yes. input. Yes, <laughs> and I have to... Mark, yeah. could you please do me a favor and put that arrow back on the white one because I'm like losing it every time I go on stage and I struggle. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And here's my rocking out SpongeBob, which is a very, very important part of the tour. He's always traveling with me. Here comes the best part of every day on tour. Signing programs. Every day we end up with piles of programs, which are for our VIP meet and greet guests. Which one is your signature? Oh, come on. Here it is. And that's how it's done. They're my incredible unicorn ultimate in-ears. Beautiful. I love them. Why are they so good? Because they sound great. I mean, it is combat audio. It's different every night. We shoot for consistency. Sometimes we get it, and we just have to do the best of what we got every day. That's the challenge in the fun of it. What's the biggest challenge you've ever overcome? <laughs> Tonight, today, every day is a new adventure. Everybody from the staff to the band members to everyone in this operation is so nice, and I'm extremely humbled and happy to be here. So this is a small tour. We don't travel with a lot of buses, as you clearly can see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a joke or not. <laughs> Welcome to our tour bus. The tour bus rule, you have to drink ginger ale. Oh, okay. Really? So, yeah, you gotta have your ginger ale moment. Ah. We really, really love ginger ale. <laughs> cheers. Yeah, cheers. 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 Breakfast. Avocados. I always ask for avocados. Blueberries. Veggies. You guys are pretty healthy. Yes, we are. Because otherwise you can't survive a tour nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> and when they 
you're doing. Oh. Galaga on a PS4, that's, <laughs> that's messing with my mind. <laughs> this is like... Oh, here we go. So what happens when somebody's showered in here? Exactly. It looks very see-through. See, that was the thing. <laughs> we wondered about it. Not sure if this is a cool idea with a see-through door. I always sleep on the top. I don't know why, because I like the top better. And to get to that bunk... Yeah, let's see. You need technique. Yeah, how? <laughs> Just imagine the bus is driving, right? So it's like <laughs> shaking from left to right. Oh. Step here. Okay. Go up here, and then you would jump. Watch your head. Oh. And then you hold up here, and you're happily in your bunk. So I'm going to skip forward now to talk to some of the fans who were in the VIP area of the Evanescence show. These were people who bought VIP tickets to meet the actual band and get their picture taken and have a champagne toast. It was really cool, but I wanted to ask them what it was about live music in particular that they enjoyed. Have you ever thought about what is it about live music and concerts that we love? I think these people had a very strong understanding of what makes live music so great. You can say that. <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite thing about live music? That it brings people together in a, a setting like this. Outdoors and it really brings people closer. Just the energy of the crowd. Um, worked as a performer before and in the crowd. It's just great to feed off of each other, to have the performers feed off of you and, and just be a part of that. I would definitely say the purity, the genuineness of the music. Just the overall sound and being able to see the singers in action. Just being able to experience it for yourself. The emotion and interaction between fans and the band. I think just having the fans and the band and being able to feel like you're a part of it. You know, the music kind of, you feel it. It's a lot different than just sitting at home and listening to it. It's the atmosphere, all the people, the getting together. There's other people singing. You can just feel the camaraderie and just love it. You get a lot more feeling than you do from just listening to a CD. You get to be around a lot of other people that feel the same way you do and it's just a lot more powerful of an experience to me. The atmosphere, I mean, you feel like you're a part of it. You, you feel it a lot more than you do. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of unexplainable. I just love the feeling that the crowd gives and it's just like a really good feeling. The, after any concert, I'm like full of life and like, okay, I can tackle anything. So I mentioned that meet and greet. Well, I filmed some of that and it was really cool to see fans interacting with their heroes and, well, I'll just let the footage speak for itself. All right, Don't aim this way. Dangerous. What, 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 Don't aim this way. Here it comes. Ready? Here it comes. Wait, wait. I'm slippery. Get a good one. Okay. Just thumbs. Really? Yeah. Is that the trick? Everybody's so scared right now. <laughs> going to meet a couple people who are on the supporting side of this tour. It's sort of like a back and forth headline tour between Evan Ensense and Lindsey Sterling and they have an opener called Chelogram and you can find the links for all these bands down in the description. I wanted to introduce you to a couple of these cool musicians on the tour. Okay sir, what can you possibly tell me yes. about the cello that I don't already know? Up that you don't already know. I know nothing. <laughs> when I was a small child, I studied with a vaudeville cellist, and her routine when she was young was to play the cello, break a string, say, oh my gosh, I broke my G string, catch her dress in the end pin, tear her dress off, and run from the stage screaming. But you didn't know that. <laughs> I mean, the, the cheapest string on the cello is A string, it's about 50, 60 dollars. That's the thin one. And oh, then the bottom C string, you get like 180, <laughs> 170. Yeah, we, we really, uh, we're very uh, bougie about our strings. I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> Wrong now. 
<laughs> we were kind of like separate camps for a long time. It was like our camp and their camp. We weren't, I, don't, I think both of us were not exactly sure. Hey, are we supposed to cross over? Do we talk to them? Do they talk to us? And then one day, between we're just and Evanescence. Uh, between the Evanescence and the Lindsay Sterling crew. And then one day, we all were just sort of outside the buses and we just sort of started mingling and all of a sudden it was like, oh, okay, this is one tour. This is fantastic. And so now we can talk to them as easy as we can to anyone on our camp. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering who was the icebreaker? Was it Jen? No. No? Was it? No. I feel like uh, German, Mark. That yeah. one. Yeah, that guy. Like so chances are if you're watching this, you're a guitar player. I wanted to show you what it's like for your guitar to be handled by a professional guitar tech like Mark and just what it's like for your guitar to sort of go to the spa as it were. So we're gonna see a guitar basically get a back massage. So what happened next was Bethany and I enjoyed Evanescence performance and I did record but I didn't want to use any of the audio. I just would rather you go check out a show or maybe find some of their professionally recorded online videos to hear this awesome sound of the orchestra and the band blended together. But I did want to point out the fact that there are a lot of people behind this production and I got to talk to some of them after the show and get their thoughts. You know me, I always have some quirky, weird questions to catch people off guard. So uh, that, along with a little liquid refreshments, uh, led to some pretty fun stuff. We heard music, we made new friends, we had a tour of rock star life. Who knows what the night shall bring? Let's check out what's happening in dressing room number two right after the show. So, Nuno Betancourt, for the case you see this, give me a call. I want to go on a dinner with you. Why is he your ideal man? Because it's the best. That was gross. <laughs> what is the best note on the violin now? The best note? Yeah. Oh, I'm uh, ah, B flat. Yes or no, did you give us one to two to three champagne flutes I today? I did give you one to two to three. Let's what, do it. What do you have to say about music in general? Music in general, it's awesome. It's great. I love being a musician. What about a heart? Oh, a heart if it's just badass. Have you seen it? I mean, come on. 47 strings, seven pedals. Why not? Quiet Riot Mental Health. 1984, maybe 85. Everybody yeah. needs to listen to that song. Guys. Yeah, at least once. Music is awesome. Music is everything. Why do you do what you do? Because I love it. <laughs> That's a man who does not need any convincing. <laughs> so I was here in support of my friends in Evanescence and I wanted to show them just how much their fans love them as if they already didn't know. I asked these people what it is they love about Evanescence and that sort of leads into a very succinct and a very cool explanation from Jen about what it's like to play with an orchestra on this tour that they're doing, the Synthesis Tour. Again, the links are down in the description if you wanna check this tour out. But it was just a really cool experience and I'm extremely grateful for Jen to ask us to come hang out and all the people who we had to get the green light to hang out with. I know it's not a normal thing to have some guy and gal walking around with a camera in everybody's face, but I think it was really fun and I'm really thankful and grateful to have been a part of this thing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. But until then, keep shredding. What's your favorite thing about Evanescence? 
Just absolutely love uh, Amy Lee's voice, her, her persona. I cried after I hugged Amy Lee. I mean, this is something that has been phenomenal to me. I mean, it's... Wow. I just love that all their music is really deep and you really feel when you hear their music. Honestly, they're fashion sense. I love it. I'm in fashion school, so... They are real musicians. They really are professionals at their craft. They know what they're doing. And they are, they, they bring that interaction to a different level than most bands can. The mixture of goth and rock put together is just amazing. My favorite thing about Evanescence is it feels like the music that they produce, it feels like they understand me in a way. So I can connect with them. don't even get to practice the songs with the orchestra before a show you know we the time during soundcheck is limited so we play like three four songs together with them and Susie she does all the conducting work not every orchestra sounds the same it's really it's a cool experience to play with so many different people I mean all over the world Evanescence land. Uh, we just we have a great time. We have a lot of fun, and uh, it's the best job in the world. <laughs>